Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game, this time in the form of The Mask Reveals Disgusting Face, which is maybe a game you're familiar with, because this is actually quite an old one, but an old one that I've never played before, I don't think at least. Yeah, this game originally came out in I think 2013 or early 2014, and it, it seems familiar to me, but I don't believe I've actually played it. I actually had to go and check on the channel if I had made a video on this before, but I don't believe I have, so I think this is going to be a new experience for me. It's the story of a man battling depression by himself in a house when things start to go bump in the night, let's say. If you want to try this out yourselves, it's completely free. Just check down below in the description. There should be a link to where you can download it, okay? Hope you enjoy it. Let's start. Two years have passed since I've been diagnosed with clinical depression. Since then, things didn't get any better. My friends tried to help me, but nothing worked. Ultimately, it seems they stopped trying. I think they're disappointed in me. When all my hope was gone, I started to feel like I'm a drag for people around me. I decided to spend some time alone, in, in an empty house outside the town, away from the problems, away from disappointed friends. Soon, I realized that it was a bad idea. Well, duh. <laughs> After a month spent in loneliness, I lost my mind completely. My pains have grown. I've become paranoid. But that's not the worst thing that happened. Something weird happened to this house. Today, I found out that the house is surrounded by a grid. It appeared from... the nowhere. I, I tried to get through it, but no luck. I'm locked here. But why? Besides, I feel like I'm not alone here. I can hear strange sounds and I see things. Oh god, I really need to get out. Well, didn't you just say that you lost your mind and that you- yeah. <laughs> Maybe that explains it. Anyway, here we are. Right, yes, so um, it's a very pixelated horror game, very um, very low res and everything like that. Kind of reminds me of games like I'm Scared, Seven Days. What's this? Can't use it, there's no signal. Okay. That looks like a very uncomfortable bed. I'm sure that didn't help. There's some movie posters here, I guess. What's that? Akira over there? More, right? Dawn of the Dead? The computer? Can we... Hang on. No need to use the computer right now. Okay, well, maybe there will be in the future, so maybe I'll check in on it. Let's see. This way? Ah, there you go. Shift to sprint. Okay, well, that's always a good sign, isn't it? Maybe there is a genuine threat. Um, yeah, let's start off by... Going over these very creaky floorboards. Let's, let's start here and work around, shall we? Okay. Okay, I'm <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was a wall or a shower curtain, but I think this is the bathroom. Bit of a, a crack in the mirror by the looks of it. Um, okay. I think that's pretty much it. Nothing to find here. And I think we actually do get like a flashlight or something in this game, and I think there might be an inventory. What is it? Let's see. I... Oh, it could be escape. Maybe this is where the items should be. Looks like we haven't picked anything up yet, so... Okay, fair enough. What about in here? Okay. Any fuse problems? Ooh. Did someone just let themselves in? Nah. Figment of my imagination, probably. What's this? Ah, no, actually it is something. It's a box of batteries, right. And is that in one of the squares? Yes, it is. Okay, that's the battery slot, I guess. So, I take it that's going to be to the flashlight that I haven't found yet, I suppose. Okay. Lovely painting. Oh, what is that meant to be? A, a dock, maybe? I think that might be a ship on the left. Kind of hard to tell. Okay. Definitely did hear someone walking to a door in an opening. Could be this one, maybe. Let's see. I like the music. It's quite nice and sort of oddly, beautifully serene. I'm not hungry. No. Uh, nothing on the dining room table. Well, we can go outside. Can we... Ah. Ah, this is the grid he was talking about, isn't it? Whoa! Okay, some mystical force pushes me away. Huh, alright, probably best not to uh, attempt fate and keep doing that, because I think that actually did hurt me. Let's just have a little wander outside. Even though I think maybe I should have the flashlight before I do this. Is this like a shelter or something? It's dark. 
Oh, wait, okay, I need a flashlight and batteries before I open this up, I guess. Okay, well, hopefully we can find the flashlight. We've already found the batteries. This is open, okay. What's this? Not important, hopefully, because I, I can't read block, I'm afraid. What's this? A key. A, a key for the second floor door. Where'd that? Hang on. Stuck. Maybe a crowbar will open it. Wasn't exactly sure where I heard that sound from. Through the window or, or down there? Alright, well I suppose we should probably go back to the actual house, right? Uh, okay. Can we go off path a little bit? I mean, can we... Yep, yeah, okay, we can just wander around. Just want to make sure there's nothing behind this shed or anything, you know? Maybe there's a gap in the grid. Maybe it's... Maybe it's a lot more easy to escape than it seems. I assume since this is a game about depression, the grid is just meant to, you know, reinforce the idea that you're trapped and things are closing in. You can't go anywhere. Ah, hang on. Can't mess with the power or anything? No? Hold up, hold up. What's this? There are eyes that cannot see and fingers that cannot touch. There are dreams left empty and blank and legs that have ceased to walk. That's rather poetic, I suppose. I've got to wonder, was that there before things started going weird? <laughs> Maybe it's just this guy's hobby, just writing down odd little things around the house. Okay. Nothing in the bins or anything. <laughs> the bins that can't stop facing me. Howling wind in the distance. The sound is actually pretty good, I think. Alright, yeah, let's go back inside. So, the second floor key... The oh shit. That sounded like it was down here somewhere. I'll try in here. Ah, oh, it was in here! The window smashed! Shit! Alright. Cut. No, no, right, yeah. <laughs> well, no one stole my phone. Wasn't really concerned about that. No comment for the window? No? Okay, fair enough. Mate, you know what? Maybe I should just go back outside and check on things. Hmm. That doesn't seem imaginary to me, you know? Maybe there is actually someone lurking around. Well, there's the broken window. Could have been the wind, I suppose, blowing a branch or something my way, but there's nothing down there by the looks of it. Hmm. Spooky. <laughs> Alright. I think it's probably time we go upstairs. Up here? Yeah. No, <laughs> padlock just drops to the floor. Okay. Nothing in the drawers. What's that meant to be of? Uh, the sea? Or the dark night sky, possibly? It's anyone's guess, really. Probably something very obscene, you just can't tell. <laughs> uh, this way, then? Yeah, okay. So far, so good. I'm quite enjoying it. I, uh, I certainly... Uh, I'm not sure if that was creaky floorboards this time. Can we go through? Yes, we can. Okay, I think there's something written on the wall here. The clock is ticking, but time means nothing. Alright. What? Okay, it's a safe. How do we... Oh, we just type it in. 4464. Four. Apparently it's not 4464. Four. Okay. The clock is ticking, but time means nothing. I did actually see a clock downstairs in the kitchen, I think. Again, yeah, can't read this. It's just too heavily pixelated. Can we go through? Yep. Oh, 2131. One. Is that the combination? Could be. Alright. What's that down there? Hang on. My old collection of records. And glimpses of something on the television. Can't really tell. Yeah, they will stop working. All showing the same time, and I think that time is 2131. Alright, definitely not time for a sit-down. There's other things to do. So let's try 2131. 2131. Yes! Okay! Ah, okay. I was hoping for a flashlight, honestly, but what's this? It's useless, Gary. You're stuck. Completely stuck. And you can do nothing about it. All your life you've been walking down the downward spiral, and this place is going to be the end for you. Ah. Was that that wind again? Like, actually breaking parts of the house up now? 
Again, sounded like it was maybe just through here. Let's see. I was half expecting to see a giant crack or like a wall removed, but... Huh. Well, if it's not here, it's got to be somewhere else, right? Uh, through here? Nothing? No? Oh! Oh, they're mirrors! Oh, okay, I thought they were windows, but... Well, there you go. I'm learning. <laughs> that actually did make me jump, I have to admit. Still, though, that wasn't, you know, the building crumbling or anything like that. It's got to be downstairs then, right? Oh, here we go. Bloodstains. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Someone broke in? Yeah, someone broke in and went this way. The second door on the right, okay. Uh, go. Wasn't this the bathroom? Right. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, maybe that's what I heard. The floor collapsing. Or... Actually, yeah, maybe someone didn't break in. Maybe someone broke out. Let's go down. Okay. Really do feel like I should probably have the flashlight for this. It's very, very dark. Ah! Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. That's it! Strange place to keep it, but I found a flashlight without batteries. That shouldn't be a problem. Right. Um... How do we do this, then? I have no idea. Uh, I'm not thinking very logically. I can't put two and two together, it seems. I can't drag and drop or use any of the keys by the looks of it. Uh, maybe I'll just automatically do it when I need to. I feel I need to. <laughs> uh, right, let's, let's leave. I suppose, you know, there was that door that I can access from outside. That needed the flashlight and that needed the batteries, so... Yeah, that's what I'll try. It was definitely that one. Just want to check this one as well. Right. I'm expecting to have to come back in here for electrical reasons at some point, but... Not right now. Everything seems to be working fine. Whoa, whoa! Oh, shit. What is it like to be caged? Not great. Do you like the feeling of helplessness? Uh, no. You're dead, Gary. And soon, you'll realize it. Shit, okay. Well. Don't know about you, but I really do hate when that happens. Ah. Uh, to be honest, I was expecting the grid to be ever so slightly closer to the house or something, but I don't think it's really changed. Okay, so it's just ra I told you there was going to be a problem with the electricity. Yeah, just around here. And yeah, okay, I can use it now. Right. Uh, okay, so I did. I did it automatically. No need to uh, fiddle around with inventory or anything like that. Okay, so what exactly are we looking for down here? I don't remember the cellar being so huge. <laughs> Funny that. Uh, does seem to be rather large, doesn't it? Uh, let's just stick to the right wall and see where we end up. And if we don't find anything, I guess we'll go, you know, into the center. Around here? Yeah, I guess so. I should probably follow my own rules to see where this ends up. Okay. Yep, yeah, let's keep going. Through it, whoop. Okay. I do like the sounds in this game. They're, uh, they're helping make this quite a spooky experience. Oh! Found a crowbar, of course! Right. Well, uh... I mean, I need to go back to the shed then, don't... Oh. I, oh. Okay. This grid. It's, uh, it's kind of getting in the way somewhat. Oh, for fuck's sake. This way? I guess? Right. Okay. Uh... Jesus Christ. Should I be running? Is there something down here or something? I don't know. Kind of feels like there might be. Maybe we should get a move on shit, okay. Uh, right. Yeah, no. Left. Oh, shit, okay. This way. And then right. And then right again to go around. I think I'm heading back towards the entrance. Let. Uh, whoa. Okay. Alright. 
That was just a, a way to get me to hurry the fuck up and get out of here, I think. Uh, right, okay, let's leave. And across the way, over to the shed. So, yep, again, automatically done. And I guess we're heading down, right. <laughs> okay. Through here? Certainly seems like it. Okay. I hope this place will lead me to an exit. <sighs> yeah, I'm not holding out too much hope, to be honest. We'll find out, though, I suppose, won't we? Okay, got a few shelves here, and there's something else just written on the wall. I can feel the soil falling over my head, and as I climb into an empty bed, I know it's over. I don't know where else I can go. Hmm. These actually do sound a little bit like excerpts from maybe uh, depressed poets, or something like that, I don't know. But uh, yeah, definitely sounding very bleak. Alright, I don't think there's anything we need to do here, really, so... Let's leave. And... well, this way? Is that like a tunnel or something? <laughs> I think part of the wall's fallen away. Yeah. Ooh. Let's go. Okay. Wow, alright. And how doesn't this, like, interfere with the cellar that we were just in? I guess this is even deeper? Oh, hang on. I need a key to open this. Right, okay, another, another giant padlock over the handle. Over here. Locked. Barred, in fact, it looks like. Okay, nothing hidden around there? Nope, okay. Looks like we're heading this way. Go on, then. Oh. Oh, dear. What the hell is that? <laughs> Let's act fearless. Let's go towards it. Let's do it. Right, oh, hang on. So I'm trying to bash through the door. Well, this is probably top of the list of dumb ideas, but go on. Now, I really don't want to open that door. I really do, actually. Seems like someone really wants to come in. I'll just leave you to it, mate. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. Maybe this way leads to the exit. <laughs> Maybe that's my friend trying to, uh, to help me out. Because they're not disappointed in me or something. Oh, well, let's see. There you go, found the key. Okay, well the bashing stopped. I don't know if I like that though. I don't suppose we can hide in lockers or anything, can we? No, this isn't alien isolation or anything like that. Uh, an eerie silence. Right. Maybe the thing that broke out earlier broke back in. Oh no, 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 it's something, something new. All oh, right, it's like a little sort of solitary room just for one guy and some blood. This way. Okay. <laughs> I mean, usually I'd be running into the darkness, but I don't know what I'm going to bump into this time. Well, I got the key, right? And the padlock's still on, so whatever that was, whoever that was, shouldn't be through here. I should be okay. Right. Nothing hidden down there. No, I, I keep looking for more, you know, weird paragraphs written on the walls, but I haven't actually found any more yet. Me. What, like, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. What's this? Another box of batteries? Oh no. Okay, something we can pick up and drop, so I guess we need to drop it somewhere. Right. Uh, okay. Let's go this way. Wait, hang on. That Was that where I came in? Yeah, that was where I came in. Okay, so we're going sort of left here. Bit of a cave in, it looks like. Sure. I think I'm, I'm learning that sound effects in this game don't really mean too much. There's very little in the way of consequences. And look, we found another one of these boxes. Right. Stab of interest before we leave. Anything in the filing cabinets? Something that might be able to help me out? No, just this. Alright, well, let's, let's take it back to the main room and I'm just going to drop it next to the other one. And then maybe we can figure out exactly what it does. So, over here. Oh, hold on. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so there's, there's four in total, two more to find. Fair enough. Well, hopefully the two 
are down here somewhere. Again, dumb idea, but I'm going to head towards the noise. Oh. Okay, probably can't go through that. <laughs> I'm really full of dumb ideas. That probably should have killed me, because I did just try and ram through it. Okay. What's that? Oh, that's a lever. Bloody hell. <laughs> I thought it might be a fuse box, or... I have no idea, but it looks like it turned off the steam, so... Let's see... Is that like a payphone? Man, I think you've been alone a little bit too long. As you said right at the very beginning, you've kind of lost your marbles. Damn. Okay, well, uh, back this way, I suppose. Oh. Was this here before? I can't believe I missed this. Right, so... Back this way, yeah? Back to the room. Uh, over here? I don't think it really matters, you know, which slot they go into. And hopefully the last one's down here somewhere. Oh, oh, just down here, okay. Hang on. Nothing through there? Oh, just the vent, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm in two minds. I think... Something might be going on, but I think it's more than likely that it's me, and it's just my imagination. Exit? Eh, yeah, we'll see. Wait, game saved? Why? Why now? I didn't think that was a thing. I thought this was like a one and done kind of thing. Can't use the door. Can't use any of the doors, actually. No luck so far, just... Okay, <laughs> you better run! This is why sprint's the thing! Running from what though? Oh god, I want to turn around. A big red smoke. And loud noises. All that fun stuff. This is a long corridor. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go! What? Game saved again? Okay. What is going on? Did I just emerge from this crack in the wall, or did I fall down and... <laughs> this is a blood splatter, I don't know. This is weird. This is actually pretty cool. This is uh, getting a bit more surreal than I thought it would. Oh, a very flat handgun. And this is my pistol. What's it doing in here? You're gonna kill yourself, aren't you? Why did you come in... Oh, I can't move. Why did you come in here? You haven't achieved anything by this. And there's no escape. You're stuck here forever, and never-ending pain will make you insane. But you can make it stop. The choice is yours. Give up. Uh, well, you know, I, maybe there's two endings to this game, but of course I'm gonna say no. I, I will resist. I don't want to die here. Okay? Do you honestly think you can save yourself? Well, who knows? But, fuck it, I'll try. Time to take off the masks. Sanity, 80, oh. Oh, what the hell was that? Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Well, that was like a floating mask, I guess. That's <laughs> probably a good thing that I did. Whoa, 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 what's going on? I think I just ran through something maybe invisible? Whoa! Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. Right, yeah, okay, so it's a little bit faster than me, I think. And it's just, yeah. It's just wandering around invisibly, and I think I just have to shoot it occasionally. Hang on. Oh, there you go, headshot. Yeah, you can you can hear it just wandering around. It actually seems pretty big. Ah, I think I just missed. And it, oh, no, that might have been a hit. Shit, hang on. Down to 50 sanity. I guess that's my health in this scenario, right? Uh, I don't know if I've sort of cracked the tactic, but running around in a circle does seem to be kind of working for the most part. Looking behind me, if possible. I don't know. Ah, yep, there you go. Right. Right. Did I do it? I guess. Ah. Uh. 
It's all over. I finally managed to defeat my own fears, cleaning up my mind. All this time, the grid existed only in my head. My personal demons locked me up here. But I won, and now I'm free. I've come back to the house and found something that wasn't here before. Uh, a letter from my friends. They're not disappointed in me. They ask me to come back. Their kind words finally reminded me that I'm not alone, and there's still hope. Fully calm, I step out of the house, where just a few hours ago, I was suffering my worst nightmare ever. Finally, I'm coming back, and this time, I will find the solution. I'm coming home. Okay, well there you go, that's how it ends. A little bit abruptly, but that was The Mask Reveals Disgusting Face, and I thought that was... pretty good. It wasn't brilliant, but it certainly wasn't bad. I think this was a pretty good and pretty earnest attempt at making a game about depression and trying to navigate the, uh, the pitfalls and the trials and tribulations that depression might throw your way. And uh, I think, you know, the creator's heart was in the right place and the message was good that you shouldn't isolate yourself away from your friends and family because it's only going to get worse. And uh, yeah, with their help, you might be able to suppress the depression or avoid it completely. Probably not going to be quite as simple as just shooting masks in a cellar under your house, but, you know, that's what I took from it. Plus, I thought the environments in this game, you know, were pretty claustrophobic and I did get the impression of, you know, feeling quite trapped. Um, yeah, it was kind of scary, I suppose. I like the music and, of course, I like the pixelated style. That's just my thing. I don't know why, I just like it. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I think that's all I have for you. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. I really need to get out. Well, didn't you just say that you lost your mind and that you... yeah. <laughs> Maybe that explains it. What's this? Not important, hopefully, because I, I can't read block. So, the second floor key... The... Oh, shit. No. Oh! Whoa, whoa! Oh, shit. This is probably top of the list of dumb ideas, but go on. No, I really don't want to open that door. I really do, actually. Seems like someone really wants to come in. <laughs> I'm really full of dumb ideas. That probably should have killed me, because I did just try and ram through it. Wait, game saved? Why? No luck so far, just... Okay, <laughs> you better run! This is why sprint's a thing! Oh, what the hell was that? Whoa!